In this video, we are gonna be making macrame feather wall hanging. So I have lots of different lengths of yarn. First, we were gonna use four different lengths and I decided to use the longest one in the middle and then the next shortest on the side, next shortest on the other side and use the shortest one to hang up the whole wall hanging. You can choose these links, you can put them in different orders, you can make them all the same length, completely up to you. This is just what I did. To attach the first three on the dowel, I looped it through and then I used the wall hanging and just tied knots around the dowel. I think I did a double and a triple knot to keep the wall hanging yarn attached. I decided to flip it over because I liked the look of the loops from the other side. And then you'll notice to the side there are three bundles. Each little bundle of yarn has I think about 30 pieces of yarn, maybe six to eight inches long, and each group will make each one of the feathers. So on one feather on each one of the hanging strings and I decided I wanted those feathers to be three different lengths. Again, you can make them all the same length or you can put the shortest in the middle, however you like it. So to make the feather, you wanna take one of your shortest strings, fold it in half and put it behind the other string and then fold another piece in half and loop it through. I'll zoom in in a second to show you a better view of how to do this tying. So I started with the shortest string feather so I know how to mark the others. So for each loop you need two. So you fold it in half and then on the, you're gonna go every other direction. So string through the hole, string through the other, and pull tight and shimmy it up to the next one. Here's a closer up video on how to do the whole thing. It takes a little bit of practice. So fold it in half, make sure you're going the opposite direction you just were, and it goes under the string, fold the other one in half, and you kind of pull the ends of the other ones through the holes, and then you shimmy it up. And you do this until you run out of yarn for your bundle. Once you get to the end, you wanna straighten things out and grab a comb just to brush the edges out, kind of make things feel like they're together and laid out. Don't use too much pressure. It just fluffs the yarn out nicely. Now I realized when I did this, I forgot to tie the bottom. So now I'm going to double knot the bottom pieces just so the attached pieces don't fall off. And then coming out a little bit more 
to get a good layout because the next thing you're going to do is take your scissors and cut the yarn to look more like a leaf and you can leave it skinny make it fatter whatever you would like longer however you like the shape of your feather to be you might have to do a few trims The next thing I'm going to do is do the middle one, one about halfway down that leaf or feather, and then I'm going even further down on the longest one. So now I've done the second one, and I'm going to do the third. And here is my finished wall hanging. <laughs> 